How is it going, Bears fans? Welcome back to another episode of Bear Down Uncut, the show where we talk everything Bears every day of the week. Today, in episode number 168 of Uncut, we are back addressing the Leslie Frazier rumors. The Bears are reported to be in uh, reported to in league circles be believed to be looking at Bills defensive coordinator Leslie Frazier to possibly be their next head coach. We're going to be breaking it down, sharing our thoughts all throughout this video. Before I get into it, though, I would like to say it's been a big week for us. Sorry for no video so far. We're currently uh, undergoing our finals at college, but starting next week, we're going to be back for the rest of the season, get our off-season content going, and get you guys videos more consistently. So wherever you may be listening right now, drop a like, subscribe, follow, and we're going to be bringing you guys Bears content as much as possible, especially starting next week. I am your host, Chris Malpe, today to talk about uh, some news that kind of came out of nowhere and seems like it might might be the most Bears news possible. Uh, I'm joined with my co-host, Parth Shaw. Parth, good to be back. How are you doing, my man? Doing pretty good. Uh, I've been busy with finals, like you said. It's a stressful time to be a college student right now. You know, it's just juggling school and stuff. So, you know, been busy with that, but um, excited to be back recording about the Bears. Um not this topic in particular, <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, let's do it, I guess. Yeah, uh, definitely. It's going to be an interesting topic. I would like to say before we hop into this one, uh, I have to extend my condolences and say I'm sending prayers to the family of Demarius Thomas, uh, who unexpectedly passed away. I know he's uh, a, a player that me and Parth and Jalen and everyone basically that's at Bear Down, that's a young adult or a college student. Uh, we all grew up watching Thomas play. Really sad to see what CTE does to some of these guys sometimes. Uh, and one of my earliest football memories has to be watching him and Emmanuel Sanders play with Tim Tebow on the Broncos and then Peyton Manning. Uh, it's it's wild to think that Emmanuel Sanders is still in the league and, and Tebow, or uh, it's Tebow, excuse me, uh, Thomas is no longer with us. So uh, the football world lost a legend yesterday. It, it's bigger than football. Reach out to your friends, your loved ones. Uh, let them know you love them and care about them because uh, – Life is unexpected and life sucks sometimes, but rest in peace to 88. What a legend. Now let's get into this video. It's going to be a little bit of a shorter one today. We're talking about Leslie Frazier rumors. Yesterday, ESPN's Dan Graziano reported uh, that in certain league circles, the Bears are believed to be interested in Bills defensive coordinator Leslie Frazier. Now obviously the Bills coming off of a game where they lost against the Patriots, uh, giving up that number one seed there in their conference or in their division uh, and moving to a wild card team in the AFC. But, you know, taking a look at the bills team, I mean uh, they've had a pretty stout defense throughout the last couple of years, but taking a look at Frazier, I mean, obviously we know him well from his time with the Minnesota Vikings. He was their head coach from 2011 to 2013, went three and 13 in his first season. Uh, that's the Vikings worst season since 1984, still to this date. Uh, and then 10 and six, the next year he won coach of the year fired after his third season with Minnesota after a 5-10 and 1 season. So Parth, these rumors kind of came out of nowhere and it's not really a name we expected taking a look at Chicago's uh looming head coaching search that I'm sure will still start this offseason assuming Matt Nagy is fired. Uh but in your opinion would would making a move like this make sense whatsoever? Um personally no. Um I don't know uh what the Bears could be thinking at this point um bringing in someone who's, uh, I think, 63 years old um, and has been a head coach and uh, didn't do too well. Uh, we all saw that. Um, I'm not surprised at this point um, with the way the organization's been running, um, but I think the Bears can find a lot of other options um, that are better, younger, smarter. I feel like at this day and age, I, I would r I'd rather see the Bears bring in someone who's younger and more, I guess, can be more connected to the players. Um, Leslie Frazier, who's been in the league for a very long time. Uh, there's no disrespect to him. I think he's a really good coordinator, uh, but as a head coach uh, in that leadership position, I just don't know how well he can do, especially when our main goal here is to develop fields. Um, one thing I've heard is that if Frazier did come, he would try to bring in the Bills uh, quarterback's coach. I think it's Ken Dorsey, um, which I guess would make it more of a favorable move for the Bears as I guess um, I, I'm a pretty big fan of Ken Dorsey you know with how he's worked with Josh Allen the last couple of years from his rookie year to now so that would be that would tempt me but still uh, I don't know if it makes sense though 
Yeah, and and that's something you have to take into consideration. You know, I I think uh, as you gave credit to him, I think I can also give credit uh, to Leslie Frazier as a defensive coach. He's someone who was a good defensive backs coach in the league for a while. He was also at the University of Illinois uh, back before we were born, uh, but has done some work with the Eagles, the Bengals, the Co- the Colts, Vikings, Buccaneers, uh, and then the Ravens in 2016 before heading to Baltimore a couple of years ago. Uh, so, you know, I guess this move could make sense for the Bears if he was going to bring in someone like Dorsey. Uh, but I would rather have the Bears gun for someone that's offensive minded as the head coach. Uh, I, you know, I, I think Leslie Fla- Frazier would be a better uh, defensive coach possibly than Sean Desai. Uh, but the Bears defense has been so injured this year that if Chicago's clearing house, I think Desai is one of the only people uh, that I would like to consider uh, to possibly keep around. So all in all, uh, this news didn't make much sense to me. Uh, I think it could make sense maybe if he brought in uh, a good offensive coordinator and maybe a Brian Dabble understudy like uh, Dorsey there would make sense. But overall, uh, I think Chicago needs to focus on, obviously, as you mentioned, Parth, uh, developing Justin Fields needs to be at the top of the list. So, uh, I, you know, I think offense bringing in an offensive mind should be uh, second to none, uh, in my opinion. Let's talk a little bit more about these rumors because – there's a lot of people online talking about whether or not you think they're real or fake. And Parth, I know you have your strong uh, opinion on it personally. Uh, you know, I don't really know if I buy into this personally. I think it doesn't make sense whatsoever for the Bears to bring in someone uh, who's number one defensive minded. Number two has already had a bad stint as a head coach in this league. So Parth, uh, that's basically my short answer on this one. Uh, but do you believe the validity of these rumors about Leslie Frazier and the Bears being linked? I'm going to say no, um, because I hope not. Um, I don't think the Bears are going to try to bring in someone who's, again, 62, 63 years old, um, has been in the league for a while. And like I said, he thrives as being a coordinator. And when he stepped in as a head coach back in the day with the Vikings, it didn't go go too well. Uh, Like Chris said, uh, the Vikings had one of their worst records of all time. And uh, the Bears are right now in that position where they either can get uh, better – or take a very steep decline from, from this year to next year. And uh, the, whoever becomes the next head coach uh, is going, going to be very important in determining the success of the team. And I hope that it's someone that Fields would enjoy working with. And uh, Leslie Frazier is someone I don't expect Fields to be super hyped about, you know, because when at the end of the day, he's a defensive coach and Fields is our quarterback who we just drafted. And um, I think finding someone who would actually – pair well with them is the most important thing right now. Absolutely. I, I, I Once again, I'll, I'll, I'll hammer it down. And not only with Leslie Frazier, I'll, I'll, I'll say it if the Bears are looking at other defensive candidates once the time does roll around. Obviously, the Bears have a lot of money invested on defense right now and such. Uh, and they've had a lot of injuries on defense this season. But this team overall, uh, if they want to have success, I mean, you drafted Justin Fields 11th overall. He is the future. Build around him. Uh, fix the offensive line, continue to work on getting some more weapons for him, uh, and try and build a coaching staff around him too because you've got to have the right people to be able to develop him. We saw Matt Nagy and Bill Lazor and John Filippo struggle to develop someone like a Mitchell Trubisky, uh, and same goes here for Fields. Uh, the Bears are going to clear house this offseason, and there's a reason why. So I think you have to try and bring in the right offensive minds uh, to be able to get this ship back on track. Before we close this one out, Parth, You can give me a one second or a a one word answer here if you need to. Uh, But without any doubt in your mind, do you think that Matt Nagy is still gone at the end of this season? Yeah. All right. That's all. (laughs) Yeah. I'm going to agree with you. I mean, we wouldn't be making these videos otherwise. And we already made a video about coaching replacements, but uh, a little bit shorter one for you guys today. Just discussing that rumor a little bit, getting back into the groove of things here personally, as our finals finish up and we get back into making content. Focusing a little bit more on the offseason, obviously, considering the Bears are currently sitting at four and eight. Uh, but with that being said, thank you guys for tuning into episode number 168 of Uncut. If you haven't already, do us a favor, drop a like, subscribe, follow wherever you may be listening. Uh, Apple, Spotify, uh, or YouTube. YouTube. Man, it's been a second. Uh, and we will also have a pregame show coming out for you guys tomorrow night talking about the Bears' Week 14 matchup against the Green Bay Packers. Man, that's going to be a daunting one, and I don't even want to get into it now. Uh, but we will be talking about that still. We are still covering this team during the regular season, in case you didn't know. 
Uh, but if you want more content from us, head to our website. The link is in the description, beardown.com. If you'd like to find the podcast on Instagram and Twitter, you can find it on both platforms at Beard Down. Uh, and finally, did I say at Beard Down for our website? Beardown.com. Uh, I'm all over the place. It's, it, it's been a second. Uh, but if you want to find me and Parth on social media, you can find the links to our platforms down in the description. Uh, it's a great way to interact with us, and you can see our thoughts on all things Bears and the National Football League. So, Parsha, that's pretty much it for me. Heading into the weekends uh, should be a good one. College football, everything heating up uh, a couple of weeks before these bowl games get underway. But any last words before we sign off here? Yeah, no, I uh, can't wait for Sunday. Uh, the Bears play at Sunday night, Packers. Uh, you know, uh, it, it should be a good game regardless of what happens. It's always fun to play the Packers. Uh, the rivalry lives on. And I always cling on to that hope that we can always somehow beat them. So, bear down. One of the best rivalries in football, and in my opinion, the best rivalry in all of sports. Let's just hope Leslie Frazier isn't the one leading the Bears into it uh, in 2022 and beyond. We're going to continue to cover the Bears coaching carousel and everything that happens into the offseason. Once again, we're going to make some videos geared towards the offseason while still covering the team in season. But we want to get more consistent for you guys. We're going to be doing that starting here soon. It's been a pleasure to be your host. Once again, my name is Chris Maltby and Bears fans. As always, do us a favor and stay safe and bear down. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Oh.